backdrop just so cool. Yeah. This is episode two. You ain't golfing right now where you're at. But this dude's gonna have more FedEx cut points than Rory McElroy. <laughs> Segway. Hello. Yes, we would like to order some salt for the roads. Four please. Alongside the caddy. Michael Collins. I am the Maddie. This is episode two of Maddie and a Caddy on the ESPN YouTube channel. Thank you for embarking on this new journey with us. If you watched episode one, great. If you haven't, you can still find it. This is episode two. And I am joining you. You see behind me. You ain't golfing right now where you're at, according no. to your background. So that's AT&T Stadium, home of the Dallas Cowboys here in, in Arlington, America. I, I'm here for some XFL stuff. I was uh, emceeing an event last night with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Shut up. Well, we, so thanks for looking at my Instagram. I mean, there's a picture of it. Bro, I, let me tell you something. I was on three hours of sleep because I was on a red eye home. Remember, even though the PGA Tour event this past week ended on Saturday, I was there for the APGA Farmers Insurance Invitational as well, which finished on Sunday on the South Course in worse weather than what the PGA Tour guys had. Oh. One guy shot at, he shot 80 and finished fourth. And was Man of people. Static. I love it. That's a tournament you and I could win. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. not against them guys. Nah. No, you, you want weather? Okay, so we're supposed to be doing some XFL rehearsal games today because it kicks off in a couple of weeks. But there's an ice storm here in Dallas, Fort Worth. <laughs> Right now, ice storms in our area of the country, New England, uh, New York, PA. Chicago, yeah, PA, like they they know how to handle it. Yes. With all due respect to my fine folks in the great state of Texas, handling, handling ice <laughs> in inclement winter weather, not exactly what they're known for. And so the whole place is shut down. <laughs> and this is the second time. You would have thought after the first one, which wasn't that long ago, they'd have been like, hello, yes, we would like to order some salt for the roads. Um, we need a couple more trucks and a bunch of heaters for some pipes. Yeah. Cool. Nope. Nah, they was just like, hey, it's te everything's bigger in Texas. How many times something stupid like that going to happen? We ain't got to worry about it, huh? <laughs> it's coming again? Uh-oh. Turn everything <laughs> off. Once in a decade ice storm. Yeah, well, it's been a decade. So it's been it's less not, than a decade. It's so, been less than half a decade. So he, he, that that's where I am. And so they haven't had time to take down all the cowboy stuff off of that stadium. Fly. Oh, so, fly. Well, we'll get to your stupid eagles in a minute. <laughs> hey, uh, I mean, by the way, real hard road it took to get there. Daniel Jones and the Giants, and then Brock Purdy's blown elbow. And like, way to way to earn your way to the Super Bowl. You bring the quarterback, we'll send him home early. <laughs> That's sorry, your new not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. You yeah, put well, your quarterback out there, probably getting lit up just a little bit. Hey, if you're a quarterback going against the Eagles, probably not want to bring your family to the game. Well, now your next quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, and there's going to be, there might be some issues with that one. In that uh, he finds a way to make things work, hurt or not. Yeah. We'll, get, we'll get to the Super Bowl because we have two weeks for that. Yeah. Um, so in our world, in the world of golf, <sighs> when we last left you, you were in the Pro-Am at Torrey Pines. We were talking about John Rahm's ability to three-peat and all of that. Yeah, as, much as, I would, as much as I would love to get into the Farmers Insurance Open, we can't. Because I want to go to Dubai. Whoa! No, 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 sir. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. no, no. We got to start with the Tuesday. How you, what? You're not mentioning how we finished? Oh, okay, we fine. Did, we didn't, so you going to just let that go? What? No, okay. Caddy's, Why are you hating on trophies so much? Caddy's team won the Pro-Am. You happy? Say it loud, say it proud. Where's Dan Brown? <laughs> hey, what? No. Caddy, hey, Caddy. that was Gareth Bale's first Pro-Am ever. He never played in a Pro-Am before. And now he's playing in four in a row. This dude's going to have more FedEx Cup points than Rory McIlroy. <laughs> segue. Thank you. You're so, welcome. See? See, but a, a good segue doesn't mention the segue. 
Well, I got to with you apparently because you're not a good segwayer, so I gotta explain myself. No, 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 no. I would have taken the segue and moved right into it. <laughs> and so there's a couple of things. Pardon me. <laughs> Putting my water. There's a couple of things. One, we're gonna start early in the week with Reed and Rory. Tuesday. Now, it Tuesday. happened now, Tuesday. Let me tell you something. There was a very prominent on air ESPN person mm -hmm. who had great issue with what you said with me on Sports Center about the Patrick Reed situation. In fact, let's take a listen to that clip now of what you said on Sports Center. One player said, well, golf must be in a great position if this is what we've come to and what everybody's excited about. One other player just said, look, it's obvious that there are two full camps now, and this has almost become a political thing. When I talked to Patrick, he said, you know, he, he had so much respect for Rory and the battles that they've had in the past that he was trying to separate things and just show a little bit of respect. And the fact that he didn't feel like he had it back as he walked away, he thought, you know what? Have some fun and just thumb flicked a little T towards him and said <laughs> people acted like he was trying to take his eye out and it's really blown up out of proportion right now. But it's obvious that there are still two big different camps. There's the live camp yep. and the PGA tour camp and people are really choosing sides. But as one PGA tour pro told me, come on, really? This is where we're at. Listening back to it after said prominent on air person texted me about it. I kind of lean with him because you stood up and, and we both like Patrick Reed. We both like him. Okay. You're friends with him. He called you. You said he called you. That morning before I even, I was on my way to warm up for the pro, for the playing the pro-am. He was in the wrong. He was in the wrong for? Two things. One, for expecting to be able to go up to Rory like everything was cakes and pies. Mm. That's part one. Okay. Part two, just because things didn't go the way that he wanted with Rory, I'm not freaking out about the T flip. It is what it is. Everybody else was. Why? Because it's Patrick Reed. And in this situation, he was in the wrong. He was in the wrong for... If you can't expect things right now to be normal, okay. especially when you're suing someone. Well, his, his, he is not, see, this is this is where you knuckleheads who read the prompters, this is what drives oh. me crazy. Patrick Reed is not suing Rory McElroy. Rory got a subpoena to appear in court. He is not being sued by Patrick, right? The lawsuit has to do with everybody else Rory ain't getting sued by him. That's number one. Number two, Patrick did not serve the, the subpoena, right? It wasn't Patrick who did it. Dude. It was you people acting like Patrick went to his house. Now, here's who's here's, Patrick Reed suing? Who is he suing? He's suing the PGA Tour. He's suing and Garth Taylor. He's suing Randall Sham. He is definitely suing some individuals. Okay. Rory McElroy is not one of them. Is Rory McElroy in the PGA Tour? That'd be like saying he's suing you and I. I'm not on the PJ Tour. Neither are you. Yeah, but we do. Wait, we do have a partnership with the PGA Tour. Did you get a subpoena? No, no. But I'm also not. So what? But that don't mean we're not getting. You're the apples and oranges, dude. Now here's where I'm gonna tell y'all y'all are right, okay? Because you know, like like we said, full disclosure, man. Patrick called me that morning. And he is, he's someone who I call a friend. Like, he's somebody who texts me, and I talk to him on the phone and stuff. And we've had great times at dinner and whatnot together. But I'm going to say this, okay, because this part is true. Patrick did not do a good job of the per The saying is, read the room. Read the room. Well done. Pun intended. Read the room. Read the room. See, I could be a headline writer. So this is the thing, though. Even though you weren't the guy who went to Rory's house on Christmas Eve, right? And I'm sure, don't get it twisted, everybody. This is another thing. Like, people act like Patrick was on the phone with his attorney going, yo, go to his house on Christmas Eve because he's going to be with his family. I'm going to jack him up real quick. Like, here, 
Patrick isn't going to do that, which is part of the reason why he went over to say, hey, what's up? Because like he told me on the phone, he got mad respect for Rory. Like those two have had some battles coming down the stretch, of which Patrick which has got the better of Rory at and the Masters and then at the Ryder Cup. That being said, if even regardless of how much respect you got for a dude and what we didn't see off camera was him really went over in that direction to shake the hands of the tailor-made dudes for making him a three-wood that he loved. That, oh, yeah, seemed to have worked pretty good that week too, right? So, yes, it was a bad look because he didn't read the room correctly. Harry shook his hand, but Harry didn't get a subpoena on Christmas Eve. But let's not get it twisted. Patrick is not suing McElroy. Patrick did not take that subpoena to Rory's house on Christmas Eve. So even though people make it sound like, yo, how dare you after you're going after Rory? Like you're not going after Rory. Yeah. And Rory is is one of as much and Rory, same thing. Like this is I have we Rory and I have text before. We have been out before. He's also someone who I would call a friend. But look, let's be real. Rory is the talking head for the PGA Tour when yes. it comes to the players that are out there, right? Nobody is going, hey, man, I wonder what's up with that lawsuit. Let's go get Brian Harmon. No, but see, but ain't that's I want to hear from him. Like, I love Brian Harmon to death, too. That's but ain't nobody point. be like, man, I can't wait to hear number no, 115 Daddy, on the FedEx Cup list where he feels. That's the point. Rory and Tiger... And JT to a certain extent. Yeah. They are the faces of the PGA Tour versus live. Yes. Period. Yes. So in this climate. Yeah, but in this climate, you know how many guys have already said that they're friends with live guys? That yeah, but you, they go, missing, play, they go play the, golf together one another. They're missing the point again. Patrick Reed is different than all of them. Now he that part been, is, I will say that part is true. He has been the villain. Pre-live, he's the villain in live. So when you are, the, you can't. Yeah, I'll give you, you that. You can't have it both ways. You can't. Well, no. Here's the thing. But see, if this is if this isn't Rory, JT, or Tiger, if he is just going up to go, Sahith Thagala, what's up, man? How are you? It's different. But you literally went to the one guy that has been the vocal opponent of live. Who you've yes. had a rivalry with before. Yes. I believe now the Taylor made story is great. I get that. But it but when there's something like this going on, right? You can't just go up and what's up, dude? How are you? Hey. Look, I understand you say you can't do that, but I'm telling you, I'm just telling you what, what Patrick told me. He was honestly doing it out of respect. For him, it was a respect thing. He was trying to show Rory respect. I know, but it's just which is why then when Roy did it, like the immediate reaction was like, you know what? And that's why you heard what Patrick's quotes were to everybody. Like, if you're going to act like an immature child, cool for Patrick. And, and I know this is hard for people to do. And this is the other thing, too. Like, because I'm saying this, everyone's like, bro, all you do is defend Patrick Reed. No, I'm trying to give an honest. I'm, I'm not trying to defend it, but I'm telling you what he told me. And this is what I'm saying. Rory is powerful enough that I'm sure he got law stuff going on too, right? But he separates all of that from personal and business. There's personal and there's business. Now, for Patrick, the lawsuit stuff is business. Like, he ain't got, he does not have a lot to do with that. He is not on the phone with that attorney every single day. But it was also funny when Rory was like, you know, if the shoe would have been on the other foot, he would have probably. I'd have been expecting me. a lawsuit, right? Like that is freaking funny, and and kind of the perfect line for that for that moment too, which is awesome. But for Patrick, it was separating business from personal. Personal, he ain't got no problem. Patrick does not have a problem, or didn't. I shouldn't say. Should say didn't. Didn't have a problem with Rory. Like it was business. There was the business side of it, which is live PGA tour. Like you're on one side, cool. I got a lawsuit going on like that. That's that's business. It ain't personal. Now, that's where it got muddy. Rory, you get subpoenaed on Christmas Eve. It just went from business to now it's personal, too. Because the lawsuit says Patrick Reed versus da 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 da. And Everybody. that's personal. So now you're right. So but here's the next thing. 
Okay. You've got that. Yeah. That's how we started the week. Then you've got the golf ball in the tree, which it doesn't take the Zapruder film to figure out that it didn't go in the third tree. Mm. It did not go in the third tree. No. So now, so now you've got beginning of the week drama with Patrick, and then you've got T shot 17th. Yes. Stuck in the first tree, right. says it's his ball in the third tree, right. gets a preferred lie and a drop out of that because it's closer to the hole without obstruction. Hold on, though. You got to. Do you just, you can't. No, my... I'm not. I'm not. Def- I'm not defending. No, no, no. no I was going to say that. I'm just saying, you, you, like, you can't. This was a here's bad the thing. Week. Here's, the, bad here's, week. The, here's where it comes back to BMP Reed. If it's anybody else. If it's anyone else, you get the benefit of the doubt. No question. You're like, hey, man, you know what? Everybody thought it was that tree. You went and you looked in that tree with binoculars, said the ball had your markings. The rules official agreed with what you said, looked through the binoculars as well. And that's the thing. The rules official could have been like, nah, bro, I still can't, can't, we can't do it. Or someone could have been like, hey, hold on. We have video we need y'all to see. Before you do that, that was also a possibility where they could have been like that yeah, time out just a second right. before we do this and could have been like, um, that's not the tree. Now, here's the thing. In theory, we talk about this Zabruder film, you know, the bullet turns left, goes up, goes down. It's amazing. In theory, the ball could have gone in that first tree and somehow made it to the third tree. I who scientifically, <laughs> who knows? But because and. If it wasn't Patrick Reed, you'd be like, wow, that's crazy. But because it was P. Reed, it was like, oh. And here's my other thing when it comes to that, too. This is hard for me to say, but it's the honest truth. Patrick has to realize, too, that when it comes to anything, when I and when I say anything, I mean if you're not, if you're not sure if your ball is touching a red line. Call in everybody. Like, I ain't going near it. You go first. The first thing that he should have done is given the binoculars either to the rules official first or before you grab those binoculars to look up into that tree, what he should have done was said, here's how I marked my ball. Because when you're holding the binoculars looking at the golf ball and you say oh yeah it's got my markings on it there it's it got an arrow and a dot <laughs> like yeah you're looking at a ball with an arrow and a dot right. so if you say it before you identify the golf ball that's in the tree and it has those markings bro you have been validated now by doing it before and handing those binoculars to the rules official because you're Patrick Reed and because you're going to get like you can't you just you just can't do that or this is what happens. There you go. And that was perfectly put because in in life you're some people have a uh, a reputation that precedes them. Some people have an unfair reputation. In Patrick's case He's had enough incidents in the past to where his reputation is what it is. And it is if, what it is. And if and if I know that, and I'm Patrick, I'm like, sh- sh- not this again. Like, you have to handle it. And, and so, you got to go so far the other direction. You there you go. Go so far the other direction as to almost recuse yourself from the situation, so that there's no possible way that anybody could be like, oh, here he goes again. Right. And here we are. It was, again, an entertaining week in golf, which I love because I Mm. love that people are talking about our sport Uh, before we get out of here. And congrats to Rory on getting that win. Yeah. So put your name on that trophy. They they dueled it at the end, which is a fitting end to the week. Patrick rallied. Congratulations to our guy, Max Homa, for winning at Torrey Pines. Yeah. Now, you... You you tend to run from this a little bit more, and it's fine because I I can't. You don't like being considered a media member, like you don't like being like no, you don't like being called a writer. But anyway. I'm a I'm a I don't mind being called a journalist, 
but I'm I, if you call me that, like you better mean it in a different way. Yeah, you're not a journalist. I don't want to be called like regular media, you know, because okay. I'm not regular media. But regular media gave me access to something this week that I will tell everyone when it comes out, you guys are going to absolutely love the Netflix show. Oh, yeah. You know what? I got access to those first two episodes. too. Right. That's what I'm saying. So being a media dope for once paid off. Yeah. That we got early access to, to, to full, full swing, swing, full swing. Um, so when it does drop for everyone, I would like to make that a part of Maddie McCaddy, the YouTube show. I would like to kind of review a couple of episodes. Yes. Because I think it is fascinating. It is so invasive and I love it. Can I ask? I'm going to ask you and I know, I mean, I already know how I feel about it and I think I know how you feel about it. And I know just because I'm asking you on here, but I, I wonder if, if we can, if the, the powers that be would be okay with it too. We got to try and get Brooks on. Thank you. We got to get Brooks on. I know. I know he's on live. And I know we got a relationship with the PGA Tour and PGA Tour. Y'all know I love y'all. I mean, heck, I'm doing PGA Tour live at the Genesis the week after the week after Phoenix. So I'm going to be there. I'm like, Which, I'm by still the way, for PGA Tour. But this our, this show, Maddie and the Caddy, we love golf. Period. We love golf. That means... European DP World Tour. I still call it the European on uh, sometimes Corn Ferry, which we got to talk about the BMW. If you're going to make it this year, I don't know. Now that you, you might have to, you're going to have to miss it again if you're calling games. I mean, we got some, we got tournament things we got to go to. But we love, all I'm saying is we love golf and we're going to have to, on occasion, there's going to be a live dude as a guest. And if you have a problem with it, sorry, not sorry. Brooks, he's dodging my golf. text, man. Brooks would always, he would always text. He's not texting me back right now. He's, he's, he's he would always hit back. So. Well, he we, might be playing in Saudi Arabia or we gotta, yeah, we he gotta might be over him. there this week. We got to get him on. We've also got to release like Maddie and the caddy, that our, our tour schedule, because we, there are some events coming up. We will be a part of. Road trip. Right. I got to get back with Ryan. I will, I will be attending that event this year again. Mackenzie's moment. Yeah. So we got By two way, events there. I'm not. I'm not certain that I, I I didn't get the invite back until I asked you about it. Was I, did I was I cut from Mackenzie's moment? No, not huh. at all. Ryan was freaking out. He texts me, our boy, the head golf professional uh, director over there at, at the best Golden human being on the planet. Man. He's the best. He's, he's my man, and and I'm an ambassador for Mackenzie's moment. He's born, he's a Lancaster boy, just like me, even though he likes the giants, bro. Come on, bro. What's he? I thought we was friends like that, but uh, yeah, he, you're in McKenzie until you tell them you're not playing like your name's on the list. So he was worried that you weren't coming. Yeah. So I got, I, I didn't, I didn't know the date because we're now in this weird scheduling world going into the spring, but the other event will be playing there. We're back for the tradition. And- we're back. Caddy's member guests there. We're back for the tradition this year. Dave, if you bring a new putter with you, I will throw you in a lake that's right behind yeah, where no, no, we're no. staying. No, no, no. The, the Scotty's coming. Benton already staying at home. Okay. So we're, Benton, we're we cool there. because you made that Philly special putter, and I still got it. It's in the plastic. It's right handed. I love, I love Benton already. When I'm rolling that They're thing, nice. it, but, but because of what happened last year with that putter, I got to, at that event, I got to keep it away. Yeah. That, it's right. not well. That's the only thing not welcome back. Good, because we're going low this year. All right, so Maddie and Caddy episode two here, ESPN YouTube channel. We appreciate everyone listening. Uh, subscribe to the ESPN YouTube channel. I think I saw there's almost nine million subscribers on the ESPN YouTube channel. We hope that we can bring in a few more with this show. Share your friends. Next week will be fun. You're going to be on the road again, I believe. Yeah, where are you gonna? So you're. I'll be, at, I'll be back in Connecticut next week. Ah, I, then, I am going to be at the Waste Management Phoenix Open. So I might have, to have Rob blur out my middle finger. My middle finger. 
So there's a lit. chance I'm going to try and get one of the celebrities maybe to join us next week. Now we do normally film this. We do record this shit filming. We record it on Tuesdays. Yes. So I know Wednesday I'm gonna be on the 17th T again, which is a precedent we started. Can I give us a little pat on the back? You may. Um you back I'm, day I, this about, is all you. All you. This is your idea. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. A couple of years ago, when we were gonna do a Maddie and the Caddy out there. Um, we also decided, hey, Sirius XM. So Maddie was like, oh, perfect. We should do it on the 16th. And I go, no, nah, I don't want to do it on the 16th. And he goes, wait, what? What do you mean? And I go, there's a backup on the 17th. It's the reachable par four. And you know who's out on that tee? Nobody. And you know who goes over there and just sits there? Everybody. Let's do it from the 17th because we'll have everybody to ourselves. Everybody wants to be on 16 on the par three. There's crazy music that we wouldn't have been able to use. I mean, look at licensing these, stuff that was out there. These, look at these picks we're showing you right now. I mean, these picks are from the 17th. That's Mickelson's out there. We had, yes. we had everybody, Rick, everybody. It was crazy the amount of people. And we were the only ones out there for about four hours, three hours. And now then what? some people got wind of it. And next thing we knew, other people were coming over that had never been there before. And guess what's happening out there now? Just a couple of years later, everybody and their cousin who isn't on the 16th is now on the 17th taking the idea that we first came up with that no one else had thought of. And we had, it was great. It was an amazing time. But now, this is why we can't have nice yeah, everybody. Oh. It's like a shortcut that nobody knew about, and then the wrong person saw you take the shortcut and was like, hey, everybody, there's a shortcut! And you're like, oh, man, I'm punch you in the throat for telling everybody stupid. Yeah, so that's called the caddy corner now because he created the idea. <laughs> um, so I'm going to need you to do something you typically don't do then. Communicate with us next week so we know what day this can all go down because you being back at our at our home tournament it's a big week from adding a caddy. We need to take advantage of it. Yeah. Well, even if we, even if I don't do it from there, there is a chance. I don't even know if I'm supposed to tell anybody this, man. There's a chance that um, we could record from the uh, fan experience zone when no one's there. Mm. Cause you know, it's Super Bowl week and the Super Bowl is going to be there. Yeah. What and it maybe I'm going to get to design an NFL football. Oh, see, I'm already I'm already giddy with excitement for you. The Super Bowl in Phoenix Open in my hometown of Scottsdale. Where am I going to be? In Connecticut. Yeah, that's all right. Your team's not in it, so I'll just rock all so, my Eagles gear for you. I might I might not have anything other than Eagles gear. I might not be allowed to do Sports Center because of logos and licensing and stuff. And you know what? Sorry, not sorry. Yeah, you know what? Here's the I was in a good mood until right now, and bitter Matt's coming out. So alongside alongside the caddy. Bitter Matt. Oh my god. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.